Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, it's Friday morning, about 10.20. I am getting not a later start than I wanted to because I've got the day off, so I have no start and stop times. I did sleep in just a tad, laid in bed and did my internet thing and all that kind of stuff, and then my wife said that she thought that maybe she should have brought something in for uh, a coworker's birthday that's tomorrow. So I offered to go and get munchkins and coffee and all that shit. But they do have one employee that can never partake anytime anything happens like that because she's intolerant, gluten intolerant or whatever. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store first and see if I can't find some gluten-free pastry type thing that, that she can have so she's not left out. Then I'm gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts, get the munchkins and the coffee and all that shit, then go to the library I haven't eaten yet. I haven't done anything yet other than send out a mail merge. Even though I had the day off, I, I knew I was gonna be doing stuff and I wanted to wait until this morning instead of sending it last night so that by the time those people get into the office, it's not buried in emails. Uh, I have three recaps to send out today. That'll take me all of literally five minutes. So I'll finish that up. It is overcast-ish. The sun's kind of trying to get out. It's already 71 degrees. It's gonna be pretty much almost 80 again today. Not as sunny as it was yesterday. Slight breeze, hell yeah. So I'm gonna go take care of this. Don't know that I'm gonna have time to get to the chiropractor this morning because she closes at noon and, and all this running around shit is probably gonna keep me from being able to do that. So I'm probably gonna go in her afternoon hours, which are three to six. At some point, I'm gonna have to get something to eat. So I don't know, after I'm done at the library, I might just head down to Rick's and, and have a quick breakfast because I don't know that I feel like cooking anything. Okay, what else is going on today? Not too damn much because I don't have anything planned, blissfully, and I really don't have anything pressing for work that needs to be done other than what I've already done or the three recaps I'm gonna send out. The rest I can do on, on Sunday night on my normal office day. I got the maintenance done on this vehicle, although they said that I'm gonna need brakes soon. And he's like, you probably wanna do the front if you're gonna choose between the two. But the thing is, is that if I'm gonna have it done, I'm not gonna have the front brakes done and then have to come back a month or two later and get the rear brakes done. So I'll probably have them all done at the same time. There goes another grand, ah life. I'm impressed that they've lasted as long as they have, given how aggressively I drive and how much I drive. I mean, I've got 72,000 miles on this vehicle and they're hard miles because they're, I'm all on the highway and driving and I'm in the middle of nowhere starting and stopping in cities and traffic and all that kind of shit. So I really put my vehicles through the ringer. So the fact that they've, they've lasted this long, I'm, I'm happy with that because I've been saying for quite a while, and I can't believe I don't need brakes and they haven't indicated that I need brakes. I think I need brakes, you know, and then I, I, it never gets suggested, well, until this time. So again, didn't have it done now. And he said, well, it's it's at the borderline. You still got some time, but you're gonna have to do it soon. I probably won't do it until like May or June. All right, we're at the grocery store and I'm gonna run in here and see if I can't find those gluten-free treats. Okay, so that was like a total pain in the ass. Uh, apparently their system is down or rebooting or some shit at this Dunkin' Donuts, which is a drive-through, well, it's kind of a drive-through only. Most of the times they're closed and they don't let you come in anyways. Um, but they couldn't, they couldn't ring anything up. They can only do to-go orders. So I had to go to the app store, download the app, create myself an account, put all my payment information, you know, all that horse shit, and uh, put the order through that way. But I got all of the munchkins and the box of joe which i never remember what that's called i always say go oh, joe to go uh uh and they're like well that works but mission accomplished I, I got what i needed okay so we're gonna go to the library we're gonna drop all this shit off then it's very apparent to me that i need to go get something to eat so all right let's go drop the shit off and then go get something to eat okay kids belly is full that was delicious we're gonna go home now and it's a little bit after 12. The queen comes home for lunch at one and I'm going to do my recaps and get that shit done. See if any other emails came in. They had, I mean, I don't think they have because I've got my phone here, but 
I'll at least get those recaps sent off and then I'm done with day job shit until next week. Or I mean, until Sunday, which is next week. So that's that. And then after she leaves after lunch, we're going to go on some kind of little adventure. Don't know what. Maybe we'll go to Pleasure Isles Point. I haven't been there since a week ago when I was shooting with Kendall. But maybe we'll throw uh, the 200 or 600 on the A7 IV and go for a little bird walk and see what's what's out there now. Let's go home and finish day job stuff. It's 75. I guess it's not going to get as warm as it was yesterday, which was 80. So it's 75. The sun keeps coming and going and all that kind of stuff. There's a decent breeze. And we're going to go to Pleasure House Point and do a loop. Then when I'm done at Pleasure House Point, at that time, the chiropractor should be open and I can go back there and get the next adjustment to, to put everything, if it's out of place, back into place again so that I don't have a problem. Already, like today, it isn't bothering me at all other than the fact that I'm just stiff, but you know, that's a given. Let's go to Pleasure House Point. All right, here we are at Pleasure House Point. And now, this is the first time I'm seeing this this year. Ooh, man, these pine needles are slippery as shit with these boots. But here is what I'm constantly talking about with the cocooning. And you can see some of the little caterpillars in there moving around. Maybe you can, I don't know. But they're in there, and you're going to see tons of these all over the place. And they're both neat and frightening all at the same time. It is really windy out here, and it doesn't feel like it's 75. It actually feels like it's in the 60s. It's weird. It, like, it just shows that the temperature didn't change, but yet it was, like, clearly cooler when I got outside. And now that I'm here it, with the wind blowing, it's, it's kind of chilly. Wah! And I probably should have worn the sunglasses that I bought for this to help me see, but I didn't. And I'm not walking back to the Forerunner now, so. All right, so there isn't an awful lot out here. There's a couple of ducks, husband and wife under there, rooting around trying to get some food. I could hear something. I think it might have been a woodpecker uh, because I could hear the sounds of pecking, but I couldn't actually see the bird itself. Uh, otherwise, there's nothing out here that I can see. It doesn't even look like there's anything out there on those signs. Huh. Okay, we're going to keep going. I did come across a wedding back there. They were kind of funny. See, I tell you, this place is just a treasure trove of spots to do photo shoots. God, there's so much pollen back here. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here in a sec. There. There's the, uh, the pea soup that I always talk about. All that yellow greeny shit, that muck there. That's all the pollen that's getting knocked off these pine trees into the water and then bunched up into the shore. Pretty gross, huh? It's all over the cameras. It's all over the lenses. It's everywhere. So we're going to head back to the Forerunner now and make our way to the chiropractor. And then who knows what after that. Okay, so I got a little refreshment because I need refreshment. And I just want to say this. If you don't use your turn signal, you're a douche. I guess after I talked to my chiropractor, she said that, that a cold front was coming in and that's why the temperature dropped so much. So it's 58 degrees now. Uh, and I guess it was supposed to be the warmest in the morning. And I didn't see any of that, so whatever. It's still nice out, and I can dig it. Now I'm going to go home, and I'm just going to chill for a bit. I don't know what we're going to do for dinner. I think I dreamt about eating spaghetti and meatballs, and it made me want spaghetti and meatballs. I'm just going to stop this for today, rather than go home and, and finish it home, because what more can I say? It's been a glorious day. It, it was a wonderful day off. I got to sleep in a little bit. You know, I got cracked. My neck is still really stiff. She had a real hard time cracking it, and it didn't really crack. So I got, I'm going to go one more time before I go to my dad's. Maybe. We'll see uh, what the week brings. I'm just going to say that's all you get for today, since I've been for what this will be like the third video in a row. Yes, that's all you get for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.